What's up everyone and welcome to the club and welcome to another Sketch Saturday. In today's video we're creating a sketch illustration of a Megalodon. Now we're going to be drawing this character from a side three quarter angle. So the head's going to appear at the front with the tail receding towards the back. So let's use the side grip. Let's start on the top left side of our page and sketch a small circle. Starting from the very top, we'll work our way around and then back up towards the top. This will be for the tip of the nose. Now we're going to angle the body coming down and out towards the right towards the end of the tail. So let's start from the right side of that circle, sketch a line coming down and out towards the right, right about there. Now we want to block in the general shape of the body. Starting from the top of the circle, we come straight across towards the right. It's going to bend this out and then down towards the bottom of the line on the right. And I'll go over towards the left side of that circle, curve the body coming down. It's going to round this out and then go back up towards the end. Let's go to the top of the head and sketch a circle for the eye. Draw a small circle coming all the way around and then back up. And we'll lightly shade in the inside of that circle. Let's go over towards the left side and draw the top edge of the mouth. We start out here. Go across and then bend that down. Then from here, curve down, and just extend that out towards the side of the body. Let's blend the outside of the mouth towards the bottom of the body with a curve. Now we're going to go across the center line and sketch a small oval for the nostril, and we'll shade that in. Now from here we're going to start adding some shape to the body. Let's we'll start from the tip of the nose at the very top. It's going to curve this around and then in towards the eye. And it'll we'll trace the top edge of the eye going up and then down. Let's add a fold along the top of the head. Starting from the inside of the brow, go across and then bend that down toward that center line. And I'll move over curve the back going out and then down. Let's go back over towards the left side and draw the back side of the mouth. Starting up here, we curve this in and then down towards the bottom of the mouth. Let's add some shape along the bottom. Starting from the outside of that circle, curve down and then in towards the mouth. Just gonna curve this around the corner of the mouth and then back in. Now we're going to add some thickness to the lower jaw. Starting from the end, curve this down, bend that in, and then we'll bend that in towards the bottom of the body. Now we're going to block in the back fin. Starting up here underneath the body, curve this down and out towards the right. Draw a straight angle line going back in. Let's move over towards the right and draw on the front fin. Starting right in here, Curve this down and then out towards the right. Draw a straight angle line coming back in towards the body. Now we're going to connect the ends with a curve, almost like a half circle. Let's add the fin along the top of the body. Starting up here, curve this up and bend that out and come straight down towards the back. Now we're going to bend the tail going back out. So from the end, just flatten this off, going out towards the end. Go straight up along the back of the tail. Curve this in and then down towards the bottom. Let's go to the outside, angle this down and out towards the right. Curve this in and up. Let's blend the tail in towards the body. So on the inside, we're just going to round this out. On the top, do the same thing along the bottom. Let's add that small fin along the back. Start with a straight line going up. Angle this down and in. Let's add another fin along the back. Come down. Angle up and in. Let's add another fin along the front. Angle down and out. 
and then just taper that back in towards the bottom of the body. Now that we have the general shape of the body, we're going to add a second level of detail. Let's start with the top row of fangs. Starting from the outside, we're going to draw a V, coming down and then back up. I'm just going to repeat this all the way in towards the inside corner of the mouth. Now these fangs are going to get a little bit smaller as you come in. And we'll just stop right about here. And we'll draw the bottom row of fangs pointing up. Going up and then down. And again, just repeating this all the way towards the inside. Now from here, we're going to move to the tip of our pencil and add some detail around the eyes. Let's start from the very top and trace the eye going all the way around, adding a little bit more shape. Draw a thin edge along the top right, going all the way around. Let's add a small highlight circle along the top. And it will darken up the inside of the eye. Let's add some wrinkles around the eye and then work our way out. Just gonna add some folds around the bottom. And we'll switch to the side edge of our pencil and just shade that in. Now go in and add some detail to the fangs. Just adding a little bit of curvature. I'm going to add a double row of teeth, just in behind.
Now we're going in with the side edge of our pencil and adding a dark shade inside the mouth. Darken up the center core of the mouth and then just blend that out as you go over towards the left. And now that we traced out most of the contours of our drawing, we're going to go back and add a shadow across the bottom of the body. Let's start from the front. I'm going to leave a gap along the bottom edge of the mouth to create a little bit of a highlight. And out towards the side. I'm just blending the shade across the body. Now we're going to separate the top and bottom half of the body with this seam. So let's start from the tip. It's going to wobble this line going around. It's not a straight line. It's going to go across through the nose, under the eye, just randomly come across towards the front fin, continue on the back and just blend that out. And we'll just darken up the top shading. I'm just going to fade that across the fin and then continue towards the back.
Now we're going to give our drawing some shape by adding some various tones across the shadows. Let's start with the top fin. It's going to go a bit darker along the top. And then just blend that out towards the side. Now we're going to add some folds across the side of the body. I'm just adding a few cracks across the skin. And then a few more refinements to the detail and adding a little bit more shading. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a Megalodon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.